Hello. In this video, we will discuss several specifics of web testing in TestComplete. We will show how to reuse tests created for one browser in another browser, and how to find objects in the web applications. With TestComplete, you can perform automated functional testing of websites and applications, check their accessibility and performance. TestComplete supports a vast number of web technologies and frameworks that you can test against. For example, standard web pages designed in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, or complex web applications built in AngularJS, ReactJS, and Shadow DOM, or even Chromium embedded frameworks. TestComplete provides several features that simplify creating web tests. To start, there are a number of operations and script objects to control web browsers. For example, this run browser operation launches a web browser, and this navigate operation opens a web page in the launched browser. These operations simulate user actions over the web page, and this operation closes the browser. You can see that this test works with Google Chrome. A typical task one might face when testing a web application is to make sure that the application works correctly in all popular web browsers. TestComplete includes a special browser loop command that iterates through all browsers installed on your computer and executes test actions in each of them. Select all the operations you want to run, and then click Make Browser Loop. Then select all available web browsers. All the test operations are inside the loop now. Note that the Run Browser command has been removed from the test. It is no longer needed because the browser loop will handle launching the browsers. The Navigate operation still opens the target web page in Chrome. Let's update the operation so that it opens the page in a browser relevant to the current browser loop iteration. When you run the test, TestComplete launches a web browser, simulates user actions, and then moves to the next browser. In the test log, you can see the results for each browser. You may have already noticed that the way TestComplete addresses web elements in a test differs from how they are called in the application source code or web page markup. To make these tests easier to understand, TestComplete gives a short custom name to tested objects. For example, the search text box on the main page is called front page search box. These short custom names are stored in the name mapping repository. To make sure that the custom name matches a proper web element on the page, TestComplete records the element's position in the application's hierarchy. For web apps, it is the DOM hierarchy, and one or several element properties that can identify it uniquely. Usually, it is an element's ID or caption. This process is called name mapping. It enables you to give custom short names to tested objects identified by their unique properties. Name mapping is discussed in detail in a separate video, so let's move on. If you use script tests, you have more ways to identify tested objects. Note, however, that from our experience, we can say that sticking to the name mapping is the most convenient approach. In case you still need to use other ways to identify objects, XPath is one of the options, and another one is CSS attributes. Top-notch web applications often use Canvas controls to render their contents. If you are testing one of those, you can find the needed parts of your rendered contents by their image. It is also possible to use optical character recognition. You can get segments of the contents by the text they render on screen. With TestComplete, you can also check your web application's accessibility and performance by using web audits. To learn more about web audits, please see a separate video. You can find the link to it in the video description. So this concludes our overview for the main features that help you create more flexible and robust web tests with TestComplete. Thank you for watching. To learn more, please take advantage of our documentation, videos, and online community at smartbear.com forward slash support.